Hello everyone. Today we want to take a look at approximation. And then under approximation we want to take a look at decimal place. Now you already know how to approximate to different place values, right? Approximate to nearest tens, thousands and so on. This one is decimal place. Now um, there are some problems that whenever you solve them especially those in trigonometry that whenever you solve and you get your solution your answer ends up to be like for instance example um, 24.56321567 right you get something like that and then for us to write that lengthy amount of numbers which is the decimal we try to cut it shorter but we try to do it in a way that everybody is going to be doing the same thing right we want to take a look at this section here which is going to be approximation to the nearest decimal um, so, so first thing that we need to do is identify similar to the previous one identify the number you are approximating right and then in this case it's quite easy because if you have a problem and then I'll just write it here example if you have 34.567328 and then the problem is asking you to approximate that number to 3dp it means that you want to approximate or round off that number that is given to you to three decimal place right so we how do we find the number that we are approximating how do we find um, which one is the third decimal place how do we find that when it is approximation to the nearest decimal place you just count immediately after the decimal starting off with the first decimal place which is the 5 the second decimal place which is the 6 the third decimal place which is the 7 the fourth decimal place which is the 3 fifth decimal place which is the 2 and the sixth decimal place which is the 8 since we want the third decimal place that is going to be the number four right so that means that the number i am approximating cutting it up the number up to that point is going to be the seven after you have found the number that you are approximating you take a look at step two which is look at the number that follows right if that number is and that's going to be scenario A if that number is less than 5 which include the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 right? so if the number is less than 5 leave as is leave as is which is at zero right the rule says if the number is less than five which is if you see that the number that follows is a zero one two three or four then you leave as as is now what will leave it at as it is that is just if we add zero right 
B if the number is greater or equals to 5 if it is greater or equals to 5 which means if you see that the number is a 5 6 7 8 or 9 then you add 1 so that's basically it in terms of approximation by decimal if the number that you look after, after you have found the number you're approximating is less than 5 you add 0 if it is greater than 5 or equals to 5 then you add 1 the number that follows here is a tree it is less than 5 so we add 0 so we're going to say plus 0 here and then all the other numbers that follow will become 0 the 3 will be 0 the 2 will be 0 and the 8 will be 0 so let me start off with 3 zero, and then 7 plus 0 is 7 and then 6 5 decimal point and 34 so my answer is approximately 34 and 34.567 that number has been approximated to the nearest third decimal place let's take a look at another example if you have the number 99.9999 right? 99.9999 let's say that the problem is telling you round off this number to 1 dp round that number to 1 decimal place which number is your first decimal place again find your decimal after your decimal you have your first decimal place, your second decimal place, your third decimal place, and your fourth decimal place. So my first decimal place is this 9 here. Look at the number that follows. That's another 9. Since it is another 9, it says if the number is greater than 5 which or equal to 5, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you add 1. So that means that for this number, I will need to add 1 to this one here, right? After I say I add 1, then all the numbers that followed would be 0. So this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. 9 plus 1, that gives me 10, so I carry the 1, right? Bring down my decimal. 9 plus 1 again. 10, carry 1, and then 9 plus 1, 10. So my answer is approximately 100. So it's approximately 100. Let's take a look at another one and then we, we wrap this up. Alright, so what if you had 8.476? And then this problem said to 2 dp. Again, immediately after the decimal, you have your first decimal place, you have your second decimal place, which is the 7. After that, then you look at the number that follows. That's a 6. If the number is less than 5, then you add 0. If the number is greater than 5 or equals to 5, you add 1. Bigger than 5? Yes. So we say plus 1, and then we underline, and then we know that all the numbers that follow will become 0. So 1, 0 for the 1, another 0, another 0, another 0. 7 plus 1, that's 8. Bring down the 4. 
and bring down the 8 so my answer is approximately 8.48 right? I hope you like this video leave your comments if you need additional help please let me know ask questions maybe your maybe your friends can assist you